Hey everyone, and welcome to this edition of TJ's Reef. You're probably wondering why am I standing in front of the fish equipment area instead of in front of the tank? Well, that's because we almost had a disaster. Uh, I want you to learn from my mistakes, and that's why today we're gonna talk about why this single heater almost ended TJ's Reef. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of TJ's Reef. And like I said in the intro, we're gonna talk about how this heater almost ended the reef. Uh, so this has been something that uh, I've been worried about and it's something I knew I needed to take care of at some point. And uh, let, let's just kind of go over what happened here, what I did to, to take care of it and what you should do to prevent these situations from happening in the future. So yesterday I'm sitting, uh, playing on my phone and I get an alert from my apex that the temperature has gone below 77 degrees. I have it set up so if the temperature gets too low, 77 or too high, 79, it will alert me and that will prompt me to take action. And that's what I did last night. It was late at night around 9 or 10 p.m. and I uh, get the alert that it's 76.9 degrees in the tank. Interesting. I pull up my apex, I look at the temperature graph, and I'll put it on the screen here for you. I notice that over the last several hours, the temperature has been slowly and steadily declining. So something obviously is wrong here. So what do I do? I immediately get up and run to the tank to check the heater. Now this is a titanium BRS branded heater. Um, I bought it just over a year ago and it's been running for just under a year. Uh, I bought this well before I set up the, the 120 reef and this 600 watt heater is just a heater. It does not have any type of temperature control on it. So it, when it's plugged in or has power, it's on. When you turn off the power, it's off. It's pretty simple, uh, not a whole lot of, uh, you know, there's no moving parts. It's on or off, pretty simple. So because of that, you have to hook it to a temperature controller and I have it connected to a Wi-Fi enabled Inkbird controller. So uh, first I verify the controller is working and I uh, verified that yes, it was indeed working properly. So I knew that wasn't the issue, which then makes the heater the issue. So I then grab a spare heater I had. I had a 200 watt heater, this is 600 and plug that in and within 10 or 20 minutes, the temperature started to rise on the tank. Okay, so now I know for sure it is this heater because the spare heater I had is now bringing the temperature up slowly. Now, while it did take all night, uh, that's fine because it kept it within the 77 to 78 degree range, perfectly okay. You know, this morning, nothing was in shock, nothing looked distra distressed. Um, yeah, and I didn't expect it to. So, you know, great. It took all night to get back up to 78 degrees, but everything's fine. So this morning I went out and did what I should have done a year ago when I started this tank. And this is what I suggest you do. Don't go with a single heater. Number one, go with two heaters. So now instead of a single 600 watt heater, which needs to be thrown in the trash, I run two 300 watt heaters. So the idea is, is that if one fails, you still have another one that should be sufficient enough to keep the tank at temperature until you can get the failed uh, heater replaced. Easy enough, right? So I went out to my local pet store and picked up two kind of regular brand, you know, it's a name that everyone would recognize uh, from a pet store. And I got two of those cheaper than the 600 watt heater. And they also have internal thermostats. Now, while I don't trust thermostats in uh, heaters on their own, they're a great redundancy item to have to prevent overheating. So what you do is you set your thermostat actually on the heater a little bit higher than what you would want the water to actually heat to. So if for some reason the heater gets stuck on, like the inkbird doesn't turn it off or something like that, the internal thermostat should shut it off. So it does have a fail safe now. And I've got two heaters, so two fail safes, plus 
the Inkbird as a failsafe, plus the Apex as a failsafe, all these things in place working the way they should, I should never have a heating issue again in the future. Now it doesn't mean that a heater can't fail, and I'm sure it will at some point. Heaters seem to be one of the highest failure rate items in our tanks. And that's why I'm done spending a lot of money on heaters. I'm gonna go with cheap ones. Everyone says they work, they last, and when it breaks, I just toss it and get another one, and just hopefully they don't both break at the same time. So, what did we learn? What's the moral of the story? Where do we go from here? Number one, we learned Always have backups, have spare parts in your gear. So I need to pick up another cheap heater just to have it, uh, just to be safe uh, between the tanks. So I'll have a spare on hand in case something like this ever happens again. Number two, don't go with a single heater in your tank, go with two. The nice thing about the Inkbird controller is it comes with two outlets on it standard, so you can easily plug in two uh, heaters without any issues. Number three, cheaper is probably gonna be better in a situation like this. Just because you spend $90 on a heater doesn't mean it's gonna work any better than a $30 heater. Finally, I do have to say that while it was a BRS heater and it only lasted a year, it does have a three year warranty. I contacted BRS this morning. I just said my, my heater failed. I showed them a picture of my Apex uh, heat graph or temperature graph. And without question, they credited my account, uh, the purchase price of the heater. So uh, hats off to BRS for uh, refunding me the money I spent a little over a year ago on the heater. Uh, believe me, it will be spent easily uh, at BRS, so no issues there. But uh, quality, I'm really disappointed that uh, what's currently a $90 heater lasted just under, or right at about a year. Get yourself a backup heater. Go with two heaters instead of one. Use a temperature controller. Man, use a, a tank controller like an Apex. More expensive doesn't always mean better in this hobby. I'm glad uh, you know a disaster was averted and I hope that what happened to me will help prevent it from happening to you. So uh, thanks for walking. Walking. Welcome to TJ's Reef. Thanks for watching. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe down below, somewhere down here. And uh, no, I'm getting messages. So until next time, boom, crap, boom this up.